Tech Quick Tip brought to you by Your Technology Tutor. Today's topic in Tech 101 is HDD. Let's explore the acronym HDD. What does that mean? Hi, my name is Chet Davis and I'm Your Technology Tutor. HDD is the acronym that stands for Hard Disk Drive. Hard Disk Drive. Most of us may just call it a disk drive and it's the disk drive that actually sits inside of most of our desktop computers and laptop computers. It's even found in some other devices like some of the camcorders that record direct to disk. Now some people would call it an HD for hard drive but it's differentiated with the extra D because HD in most tech circles means high definition as in high definition video. Here's what a hard disk drive can look like when it's all closed up and inserted inside of your desktop or laptop computer. But let's take a time trip back to 1956. This is one of the very first commercially available storage units or hard disk drive. This had multiple platters, multiple disks. The IBM 350 in 1956 was used by the U.S. Army, the U.S. military, and it had a total storage capacity at that time of three 0.75 megabytes, just under 4 megabytes. Now at that time people were saying, ooh, and ah, that was very impressive. But if you contrast that a little bit more than 60 years later, you and I can purchase at the local uh, uh, consumer electronics store, uh, computer supply store, this hard drive that has a capacity of 2 terabytes for just under a couple hundred dollars. And I'd hate to ask what that... Um, original uh, hard drive array cost uh, for the US military but a quick comparison 3.75 megabytes and a 2 terabyte drive is roughly the equivalent of 2,077,000 megabytes for just under $200 truly amazing here's a close up of the hard disk drive if you take off the lid you can see that large a disk. They call that a disk. Uh, the technical name is called a platter. And most hard disk drives have an array, have a series of multiple uh, platters stacked on a row. That's spinning at a very high rate of speed, either 5,600 revolutions per minute or 7,200 revolutions per minute. And, and as it's spinning, this little device here, we call it the armature or the arm, is actually not making physical contact with the disk, but the little tiny head at the top left corner is actually barely missing the surface, and it's reading and writing data, magnetically recording it and reading it from those disks. That's why it's very important not to shake and move a computer when the hard disk drive is operating, saving, recording, playing back. Uh, and that's why we're very careful and appreciative of portable disk drives. They're a little bit more durable in that capacity. Now, if you're looking to purchase a hard disk drive, it's important to be aware of the factors. You want to make sure you uh, are purchasing a hard disk drive that has the compatible interface. There's SATA, there's PATA, there's IDE. Make sure that the interface, the connection device that you're purchasing the hard drive for your computer is compatible with your computer. And a technician or a, a savvy salesperson can help you with that. Also, judge the capacity. I'll have more about that in just a second. But you want to make sure that the hard drive you're purchasing, maybe you're, you're replacing or maybe you're adding to your computer, whether it's an internal or an external, you want to make sure that that hard drive has sufficient capacity for everything you want to do. For example, lots of video requires lots of space. Okay, High resolution photos requires lots of space. Music requires lots of space, but less than video and, and photos. Data documents requires even less space. But it's important to know what kind of capacity you're looking for. Then there's the speed. Some applications, some software, some programs requires or will benefit, will perform optimally with a uh, drive that has a faster recording speed. Check out the main applications you run and make sure the disk drive that you're looking to purchase will match or exceed that. And lastly, there's the format. If you're on a Windows computer and you want to just plug in uh, a new hard drive and have it work right out of the box, you want to make sure that that's formatted for Windows. And if you, uh, similarly, if you've got a Mac, an Apple computer, you want to make sure that that is formatted. You can reformat the hard drives, but if you're that's not your comfort zone, 
you can purchase hard drives that are pre-formatted for the computer platform that you use. I said I'd mention one more thing about hard disk drive capacity, HDD capacity. The lowest common denominator in these three that are the most common that's kind of shared today, although you'll see very, very few hard drives that talk about megabytes anymore. Uh, megabytes is the lowest on the totem pole. Then it goes up to gigabytes, which is a thousand megabytes and terabytes, which is a thousand gigabytes. There's six more classifications on up the scale, but most of us in regular access to uh, computer peripherals, to hard, hard drives, these are the uh, kinds of terms you'll be looking for when purchasing that hard drive. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate the opportunity to share this lesson with you. If you have questions about uh, this particular topic, hard disk drive, if you have suggestions for other tech quick tips, I'd be happy to hear from you. Please visit my website, yourtechnologytutor.com. That's yourtechnologytutor.com.